Hi and welcome back to Cheeky Crypto. My name is Nick and today guys we're jumping down into the world of Sandbox, specifically taking a look at the price action of Sand and what I would expect to happen next. As I get into this video, if you find it useful and informative, hit the like button. I really do appreciate that. If you happen to be new to the channel, then why not go ahead and subscribe, tap the bell, select all notifications and in doing so you will be kept up to date with absolutely everything that we do here at Cheeky Crypto. Now, if you have not yet joined us in Discord, the link is in the description down below. It's a fantastic community talking crypto 24 7 it's completely free and i don't think you'll be disappointed by what you find down there so why not go ahead and check that out today and also down below there's two additional links one for the new cheeky podcast a fantastic way of staying up to date with everything crypto on your daily commute and the second is to patreon services uh, as well which uh, basically allows you to get a lot more benefits from the discord server everything from what chris and myself are doing from buying selling staking through to uh, project review reviews, trading, AMAs, and all that kind of good stuff. If that's your bag, check that out down below. Okay, let's waste no more time though. Let's jump into this, right? Sand paired up with USDT on the hourly chart. Binance is the data source. Now, there's a lot of things going on here, okay? And, um, you know, for the most part, this is the little buy zone based on the current structures. Now, I'm expecting um, a big pullback in the entire crypto space, uh, and I'm hoping that Sandbox lands in this little box area here, okay? This is basically seven, uh, 78 point seven four to ninety two point five uh six okay a cent now with this there's a couple of caveats one we should not drop uh go up higher than one dollar thirty five point zero four which of course at this point current point of recording the video we're at one dollar twenty six point six two okay so that's a little concerning um but let me kind of zoom out a little bit and show you why I'm thinking these things and then we'll go into it in a bit more detail so if I come up into a four hourly chart and just bring this back down here we can see that we have a three wave move a three wave move and we've completed a five wave move to the downside this essentially means that what we've done here is we've completed a three three five corrective pattern okay um, and as such this basically tells me that this is a high probability of reversal of some kind of significant pattern to the upside okay but there are some caveats to that obviously the market at the moment isn't necessarily telling us that we're going up and um, so we're expecting some volatility to the downside Okay, so despite the fact that we've completed this 335, um, it just means that we might not actually come back down lower than 73.29. That might be the actual low for uh, for Sandbox here, which means this area that I've scoped out, and I'll go into what that looks like in a moment, um, is potentially the next best option for accumulation, knowing that we've potentially now bottomed out here. Um, and of course, we've got a five-wave structure move inside our five-wave move as well, so we can kind of be confident that we finish that move to the downside. It is still possible of course that we're having some kind of overextended fifth wave and the only way to prove that we are not is to go up higher than 152.49 which i don't want to see happen just yet that would have to happen later in my opinion because we want to take advantage of some accumulation zones okay so there's a lot of things to think about lots of things to kind of note here um but essentially this move to the downside has actually seen us in some pretty good areas okay with that done let's jump back down into our hourly and now let's talk about this structure okay and um, so we have this really really um sharp increase here right um and you know it's it's actually a pretty decent kind of move to the upside that's been had and i think it's worth noting you know what's kind of what this kind of means right uh, essentially so if i were to draw this out it looks to me uh, like we kind of have this kind of um you know five wave structure move here okay and um, so we have this five wave move up which essentially means we have to have another five wave move upwards at some point which i'm hoping happens somewhere from down here uh, to the upside this way okay where we do cross higher than 135 Point zero four. Now it's possible, of course, that this has started at this point here, and we are actually starting to see this. Okay, so we have have one, two. With this, all this is three, and then four and five. Right, we have something to that effect. That's a possible scenario, and therefore this low point over here, at about ninety five cent, is the low that uh, you know that we're going to have. Now this yellow box area is a typical retracement for what is a wave two okay now for that to be a wave two down here um, essentially we would let me grab hold of this high point if i can get it here we go uh, we would take this entire measurement here for example and actually i have to reverse it around the other way where one second uh just do it like this um so as you can see it's basically 88.2 percent 
um, to a 618 retracement, basically this area here. So this, I mean, actually you could argue that it goes to 50. If it goes to 50, um, you can see here that we entered into it just a little bit. Um, but in this example, I've taken the 618, but a 50% is actually more probable. Like we, we could actually say that 50% um, retracement here um, at 99.48 uh, um, is actually you know, also quite common for wave twos. Okay, so I'll leave that there actually, because it would make a little bit more sense. But what I'm hoping for is another descent to the downside. I think what we've got here is a complex um, structural move upwards, um, but we haven't yet hit any kind of impulsive trigger points that I'm aware of um, so I don't think we've got too much concern here at the moment let me just move this over to this low here um, yeah so we're way off um, going impulsive or anything like that we're just above the one-to-one -one ratio here and um, so reversal could be could be due at any moment so if I draw this up as a three wave move um, and I'll grab this here we go um, up with these moves for example we'll have it something like this now this move to the downside is also looking very much like a five wave drop okay so we go one two three four and five right now what's interesting about that is i think this whole correction could be a zigzag pattern to the downside and um, so if i grab another one of these what we could be starting to look out for is some kind of five wave drop like this uh, and the entire thing is an abc then a zigzag pattern that looks like that okay that takes us back down into our yellow range um, and then basically that becomes our accumulation point and then we look to move on up higher into an impulsive structure okay so if i delete this off um, and we grab hold of our uh, little five wave move here there it's up and we grab that low move this over i'm just going to tip it. i'm just going to put this approximately about here about 86 is a random place um but essentially you know we'll be looking at some kind of really big surge to the upside to happen and i think this is pretty much again in line with um with some other cryptocurrencies that are looking for um, pretty big surges take uh, harmony one for example that's looking for a pretty big surge upwards and um, so we could start to see that sandbox actually you know really go for it within that range um so yeah looking pretty interesting for sandbox my expectations are removed to the downside but let's take a look at the stochastic rsi what does the momentum behind the price tell us well we are up in this overbought area so reversal is probable if we take a look at the four hour we've got a little bit of room to grow but you know we don't have to go up into the overbought area we could see this come right the way back down okay so we'll keep an eye on that one uh, the a tower again right up there at the upper band area and of course the daily right up in the overbought area so again everything is indicating that we are likely to see a bit of a move to the downside we throw the bollinger bands on here as well you can see we're testing the upper band right now. Um, again, this isn't something that's likely to last out for too long before we start to see reversal. Um, so yeah, looking at the stochastic RSI, testing the upper band, um, I would expect some kind of drop to the downside to be imminent, potentially not crossing our 135.04 area and just dropping to the downside. So essentially for Sandbox here, I do think that we're running out of steam to the upside. I think it's more probable that we finish with a, a five wave move down into our little accumulation zone. Um, bearing in mind that we should not cross the low down here at 73.29, okay, because I think our 335 macro move is finished uh, and we're starting a new move upwards. At the bare minimum, we would expect five wave move upwards to marry that of what happened this side. Um, so once we've dropped down in five waves, I would be expecting five waves up minimum, okay, um, and that would be then completing a zigzag potentially on this side. Okay, like so. Um, obviously, best case scenario is that turns impulsive. Okay, um, so lots of things to think about for Sandbox. Really excited about this one. Uh, I do hold Sandbox. I think it's a great project. It has great potential. Uh, and I do think it's going to do incredibly well. But guys, I'm going to leave the video there. If you, have, if you have found this useful and informative, hit the like button. I really do appreciate that. If you happen to be new to the channel, then why not go ahead and subscribe, tap the bell, select all notifications. And in doing so, you will be kept up to date with absolutely everything that we do here at Cheeky Crypto. With all that said, done and out of the way, I hope everyone has a fantastic day and I'll catch you all in the next one.